Hey everyone, it's, it's Lori and I'm back with another process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. This is my discount code, LORIMAR15, and my layout for today is a pretty quick and easy layout. All I did was play around with lots of paper and paper layers. And the collection that I'm going to be using is the Legendary Collection by Coco Vanilla Studios. And the sequins that I'm going to be adding in are Lost in the Pages. Um, that's one of the new sequin packets. And at this point in the video, I don't have a, an idea of what I'm going to be doing too much. All I know is that I want to do lots of paper layers because I'm almost out of embellishments for the legendary collection and I really want to use my patterned papers up as much as I can. So I chose one patterned paper as my base. It's that triangle. Um, it's white with little black triangles. On top I'm going to be placing this sort of like Aztec print um, paper. Um, it's teal. And across it, I'm going to be placing quite a bit of patterned paper. And on top of this, I'm going to be cutting um, this half a circle. <laughs> I know it's a full circle, but I just wanted to use half a circle. And what I'm, I'm doing now is cutting off so that it's a bit jagged. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Um, but I stopped because I really wanted to use that arrow paper, but it was like too, it just looked too pale for me. I love bold colors. So what I did was basically I just flipped it over, which is this rich red color and it was all the better for it. I do add a bit of rainbow ish colors towards the end, but you'll see what I mean in just a bit. Yeah, there I'm cutting off the edge of the half circle and I'm pretty much done with, you know, snipping and cutting. So I go ahead and I start um, sticking down my paper. The red one, I am going to be placing it horizontally more towards the bottom of the layout. And then there's where I'm going to be placing my half circle. Here's another strip of paper that I cut. It's going to be yellow this time. I debated whether adding rainbow, the rainbow side or not, but I liked the yellow part better. That half circle, I'm going to be popping it up on some craft foam in order to add dimension to my layout. And I'm going to be placing it like right in the center of the yellow strip of paper. Again, as I mentioned, I'm just playing around with paper layers. Then I popped in that um, arrow paper right beneath it. And this heart is a leftover from one of the Confessions of a Paper Addict cut files that I recently used and I had already cut it out. I mean, I colored it. I had already colored it with various shimmers colors and I thought it had the perfect blend of colors for me to use it as a layering piece here on my layout. So yeah, I placed the the heart does not have any craft foam, but my picture does have um, craft foam beneath it. And it also has double layers. Um, the picture itself has a white border, and then I've layered um, gray patterned paper beneath it, and then the star paper right beneath it. And then the last couple of pieces of ephemera that I do have lying around from the collection, I just stuck it down. Like, I didn't think too much about it. I just saw like an empty space and I just stuck them down. Some of them are placed on craft foam, some are not. Um, I did use up the 
last two enamel dots that I had. And my title is going to be super cool and rad. And I also had these little texty stickers. So I stuck one that says break brother and little brother right on top of the picture. And then added one that says it's a long story. And then to finish things off, I just finished off the remaining enamel dots from the enamel dot sheet. And I'm using the into the not into the woods lost in the pages sequence. I'm mainly using the the mustardy colored ones. And again, when I do this, I just add dots of glue. This time around, instead of sprinkling a whole lot of sequins, I just created a lot of sequin clusters of three. And to tie things up, I just splashed a bit of shimmers and close-ups should be coming up. Yep, here are the close-ups. Here is where you can pick up all the gorgeous layouts, layouts, layers that I have in this layout. And I hope you go ahead and join us at the Facebook group, Spread the Sparkle, where we have tons of inspiration using the Spiegel Mom Scraps sequins. See you there.